Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day. And this comes to you for Monday, September the 11th, 2023. And today's date brings two numbers together to make a double number. That means partnerships are highlighted. One plus one is two, right? The number of partnership, mind and body are together. Spirit and mind are together. However you want to bring this partnership together, if it's in relationships with family, with friends, with you and the world, with you and your own mind, with you and the present, with you and the future. But just realize whatever decision you make, it might seem to you that you're coming from a fearful place, that you're not protected, that you're not safe, that some harm is going to come to you. You're fearful about either physical harm or spiritual harm or mental harm. But something within you is stopping you from just entering into the day. You're just holding back on making decisions or even expressing yourself because you think that something will happen to you or something has happened to you. And you're just going on focusing on the negative. And you're forgetting about all that you've accomplished thus far and you've come so far. And you're standing so tall and strong and proud. You should be proud. But still there's fear within you that this can go wrong, that that can go wrong. And all that is coming up. Let it come up. First of all, there's kind of a, you can say, movement in the planetary energy and form of light that is coming down is bringing down pure white light which is really cleansing and is making everything that is strong and safe and clear come up but whether you're ready for that or not is another matter so let it just rise and just flow flow with the thought process Whatever is coming up, write it down if you have to, make a note of it, and you will see that it does not really serve you. It does not define you. It does not trap you. It's not what who you really are. It is not where you're meant to be. You're not meant to be fearful and worrying or negative in any way. Negativity is just... You realizing then that you're not allowing the light in, you're not allowing the best in, and you need to cleanse this, and you need to clear this, and you need to rise above it, and you need to learn from it. It might be a karmic pattern that you've been repeating for many lifetimes that you finally are done with. So that is why the most unconditional form of God's love, the angelic forces are all around the earth right now, bringing this white light down. Cocooning, cloaking, covering, cleansing, highlighting, all the good that there is there for you. All you have to really do, even if you don't look at this image at all, and you just think about an angel and say, angels help me with, because remember that they always come only upon being called, about uh, when they're asked, then they will never rise above your free will. They will never take away from from you the choice that you've been given. So if you forget everything else, just say, angels help me with. And enjoy that. Enjoy that moment. What have you done? You've just made a decision for yourself. You've decided to highlight the good in your life. And of course then, the archangel who is bringing his legions of light all over the earth this day to help with all matters of negativity, where people want to cut away from the past, where people want to cut away from their own harmful patterns, mental patterns, thought processes, the cords between people that are negative, and are binding, creating blockages and obstacles for nothing. 
Archangel Michael is there. And Archangel Michael's name literally means he who is like God. So just if you do nothing else with any of this imagery, just take a deep breath in and invite that white light in. Remember the white light that you enjoyed just a moment ago? And enjoy much more of it. Cleansing, clearing. You feel literally light-hearted. Why? Because you're filled with the light. You've reminded yourself of what your truth is. That you're divine and you're filled with the light and nothing can take that from you ever. Now, look into this imagery and for one moment, I'll be quiet. You decide for yourself where your eyes or your heart or your intuition, all of the above, take you. Again, you're merging all the better and higher parts of yourself to make a decision for yourself this day. Because that is going to be the most challenging thing to do, to make decisions this day and to come through on what you've decided to do. So I'll be quiet for a moment. Just see these words again. You are protected. And look at Archangel Michael. Let him direct you. Let your intuition also come in and see what it is that you need. Protection and what you need to be surrounded by. I'll be quiet for a moment. And somewhere you would have landed on one of this imagery. Do not try to understand now what traditional books say or where the guidebook of this card deck would be and what that would mean. What does it mean for you right now? What do you think Archangel Michael is trying to tell you? Again, definitely keep a small little diary or something close by that can keep on capturing your thoughts for this day because your thoughts will be you can say the point of inspiration there's a lot of white light coming down as rays of light into his crown and that is going to be part of your crown as well inspiration clearing enhancement clarification confidence strength direction highlighting of the important so you know which one and what path is your priority, what you should focus on, what you should get rid of. All of that because see his head is completely filled with the light. So your thoughts are filled with the light. So trust. Trust that whatever decisions you, you make, no matter how difficult they are in the moment, they will only take you forward because he is assuring you that you're protected. And what are you doing? You're already saying you're grateful because the words below are saying, thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. So just look into his eyes as you say this so that you feel more connected with him more of a sense of the light within your heart. And again, your mind and heart this day are working as a team. So no particular emotion is a portal or no particular thought is a portal. They're both portals. In fact, this day is a good, good time to think about your chakra points. And if you don't know a thing about chakra points, find out where your chakra points are. Just take your hand if you have to, if nothing else, and just put it from the top of your head to the bottom of your toes and just see where it stops. It'll stop somewhere. That is where you need to focus. That might be the chakra point that is carrying a problem some form of negativity is held back, maybe is the place carrying the fear or the obstacle or the blockage. 
that's within that particular chakra point is a problem for you. And Archangel Michael also, as powerful as he is, as he is the keeper of the light, literally, bringing you the angelic prayers and angelic force, even he can only come if you call upon him. So remember to keep calling upon him this day. And now if you see the sword, the mighty sword in his hand, this is a sword that can literally cut away and clear away and cleanse and renew everything for you. You decide what you want to use it for and continuously continue using it throughout this day. How do you use it? Just by thought, just by asking, just by believing, just by trusting. And if you want to even hold a finger above that sword to just feel its power within you, if you're a more feeling-based person, this might be a good time to cut away your fear of using your intuition and decide which intuitive faculty is your strength and claim that. Claim it and use it and enjoy it this very day. Ask for something to get cleansed. Immediately feel that. Your faith will only get enhanced. And once that happens... Then ask for a manifestation, something simple, like maybe going to the bank and getting a banking trans transaction finished, depositing something into your bank. Financial renewal then, right? That feels like financial renewal. Today you have one dollar, but what have you done? You've added to your bank. You've added to your account. It will only increase then. And look back into his eyes and say, remove those fears that stand between me and financial enhancement. It will only approve then. What have you done? You've changed your perception, the way you view your finances. The same thing can be done for health, for your routine, for disharmony in the home, problems with health, problems with finding a job that you think is financially viable, whatever it is, whatever reason it is that you feel a sense of lack or limitation or negativity that this is not working for you or held back, all those obstacles will come up to the surface this day for your, you can say, examination for you to realize where it is that you're going wrong so that you can only and only go forward. That's why he's wearing the, sh the shields on both left and right side. You can't tell, right, where it begins. It's just starting from the top of the throat and going all the way down, covering you. So you're covered. That's why he's saying that you cannot go wrong moment to moment, thought to thought, even as you express and speak with people syllable by syllable, ask him to be present so that you go forward expressing yourself confidently, trusting that what you're saying is correct, correct for you, correct for the other person involved, correct for the situation, where it is that you want to send cleansing and clearing and healing, Though he's not considered to be a healing angel, he's an angel. He's an angelic force. He will give the sense and strength of angelic power and divine power to wherever you send it, to whoever you send it to, whatever place you fill with his blue indigo light. It will only get cleansed and cleared and full of power, divine strength again. Divine sense will prevail. So go ahead and do that if you want to, to distance pla distant places, even places in the future that you haven't even bought yet. Maybe you're considering a property, a business you want to start, and you're not sure of it. Step into that today and see why it is that you're afraid of that. Your manifestations, really examine your heart. Are you fully with your manifestation or are you more with your fear? 
Which one is it that you're really connected to? Enjoy your dreams, the faculties that you have that allow you to dream, the powers that help you to dream, the meditation, the prayers, the invocations, and chances that you have to sit down and send your request out into the universe. Enjoy that process. Don't hold back from it. And don't be half present, you can say. Half of you is sitting there invoking and meditating, and half of you is already worrying and saying that prayer will fail, that it will not work. Then even the divine ones helping you who have come forward and the angelic forces who are helping you cannot really complete and work for you completely or fully. Give all of your heart to where you are in the present moment. Just believe. Just believe. And I am that statement. Keep on using it today, this day, and feel protected, first of all, that through all of this, you're stable, you're secure, you're safe. Everything you're sending out is being covered under divine hands. Just follow the guidance and trust that the guidance you have received, yes, that you have received it correctly, first of all. That's really what holds us up most of the time, that am I making it up or am I, am I receiving divine guidance? That am I, am I? Again, just touch your hand to your heart and then touch your hand also to his hands that you merged with the divine truth, the divine power, divine strength, and the divine security, the backbone of the divine. You're being held up in every way. And then just look at his shield. This is all over you. Not one portion of negativity or darkness or a sense of lack or anyone else's harmful intentions can penetrate the shield. Just keep on saying, I'm shielded by. Whenever you even feel one sense of discomfort during this day, you don't have to shout it out. Just think about it. Just send it into his eyes or wherever it feels comfortable to you. And if you see how his wings are going out into the universe, again, cocooning and creating a bubble of light behind him, it's creating movement. Movement for the past to be cleared so that you're only carrying the best of the past with you. You've learned from everything. You've grown. Your education, you can say, both earthly and heavenly, is with you. Your experiences, the relationships you've shared, what you've learned from that, your spiritual insights, you're carrying only the best with you. And the rest, which you've been carrying as baggage and regret and complaints, are being washed and cleared and transformed. And you have to keep on doing this on a regular basis. It doesn't mean you've done something wrong, but the subconscious cannot come to the conscious mind all the time, right? So it's just like how you cleanse your house and clear your house and how you cleanse your physical body. This is all of you being cleansed, mind, body, spirit. So no harm can come of you or to you in any way. And then the right side is your future. Still very much clear, available, ready to be written, to be scripted by you. And again, if, if it has changed from yesterday, go ahead and change it. Mold. Mold yourself to that moment. Nothing has changed of fulfillment for you. What you desire the most, how it's meant to come to you, it will come to you in the best way, even if it's a relationship. You will understand the insights about why the delay has occurred, what has happened, or there's a marriage that's in trouble, what's going on with it, or if there's a business that is not succeeding or is not profitable, what is wrong and what is going wrong. He will keep guiding you. You will only come out as a winner 
Give yourself this chance because see, he is just shining with the light. That's you. That's you and him together. That's you with your best and higher and highest expression of yourself, your divine self. That's the real you. So just remember this and you will not go wrong this day with any decision or any activity that you engage in. Just go forward fearlessly. You're protected. Archangel Michael is with you. And just keep on repeating this. Thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. And this is so beautifully given to us and so simply and powerfully. Moment to moment. Effort free. By Kyle Gray. And Kyle can be reached at kylegray.co.uk. And the superb, supreme purple indigo light comes to us through the art of Jason McCready. And Jason can be reached at B-E-C-T-R-A-I-T-S dot com. And this is Tina signing off for now. Bye-bye.